So here before me are the components that will comprise my first SFX build using a mini ITX motherboard for a small form factor PC. The whole reason why I'm going to do this build is I was inspired by this case right here. It is the Fractal Ridge and I was scrolling through Reddit and I noticed that someone stuffed a 5090 into the, one of these things, the Founders Edition of the 5090, and it made me think, man, it would be so cool to try to build one of these, but at the lowest cost I can possibly do in 2025, but also get the most performance. And I had one simple goal in mind, and that is to make a build that costs less than a Founders Edition 5090. And I did that by getting on the NVIDIA website to see if they had any 5070s in stock, and they did, but to my surprise, they also had 5080 Founders Editions in stock which I've never seen ever in stock anywhere and so I just couldn't resist to get a 5080 at MSRP which is about a thousand dollars so this by far is the most expensive component of the PC which is half the cost of a 5090 at MS MSRP of two thousand dollars and so it made me think how can I get the best bang for buck in terms of all the other components to make up this small form factor build and so my friends at Micro Center here locally hooked me up. They had some great deals on some killer components. And actually, let me just show you. <laughs> when I tried to find this case, I found it at Micro Center for about, this was an open box for about $89. And I was able to talk him down and get with the manager because it does have a few scuffs on the bottom and it is missing the foot piece, but that's okay. I was able to get this unit right here for $40, $44, I think. So I've got the receipt right here for everything. And so minus the GPU, all of these components, I'm talking the motherboard, the, the AMD processor, this is the Ryzen 5800 XT, the RAM, the cooler, the power supply, the small form factor power supplies for the ITX format. I, there was a lot of acronyms I didn't know about when getting into building an SFX PC. When all is said and done with all these components, the total price was $539 for all of this. The motherboard, the processor, the cooler, the power supply, the case. Now that, to me, is a really good deal to get all of this. I already have a one terabyte NVMe, a spare one that I had, so I did not include that in my cost list. So keep that in mind if you're gonna build a similar build as me, you will have to buy a, an NVMe of some kind for your Windows installation. And I'm also not including the Windows serial, which there are, there are ways, of course, as you guys know, to get that for a much lower cost than paying Ne never ever pay Microsoft retail for Windows 11 when you can get it for a lot cheaper than that. So what we're going to do today is we're going to put this thing together and my goal, like I said, is to get the best bang for buck small form factor PC that I can build. We're way below, we're at like 1500, 15 to 1600 total for this entire build, which is honestly, there's a lot of 5080s that are $1,600 to $1,700 to $1,800, which is really stupid when you can buy all of these components and actually build an entire PC. That is, of course, if a 5080 is indeed available when you go to the NVIDIA US store and see if they're in stock, because they never are. I, man, I tell you, I got super lucky. That one time I went on the NVIDIA store, I've never seen 5090s or 5080s in stock. So anyway, we're gonna put this together and my goal is to create a small form factor PC that mimics kind of like a PlayStation or an Xbox or something, but then you have access to your entire Steam library and you can put this next to your TV up in your main living space and have a great gaming station for when you need to kick back and relax with a wireless controller. So yeah, we're gonna do that. And what's funny is, is when I picked this case up at Micro Center and they had all these loose components, they're like, do you need a bag for that? I'm like, yeah, I'll get, I'll get a bag. And so they gave me this ghetto grocery bag. This is what all my components were put into. So I'm walking out to my car with this ghetto paper grocery bag along with my Fractal Ridge small form factor PC case. So we're gonna have some fun and put this together. So I had to change this build up a little bit with parts I was getting. I 
decided to go with AM5. They had an open box Ryzen 5 7600X and an ASRock B650i. This made my total build cost at $1,717.65. And so with that said, the first piece that I really wanted to unbox, honestly, was the 5080 because, man, the Founders Edition cards are beautiful. They're like works of art. They're very well made and designed, and they just look so good. And I love how small this card is. It's a two slot. And here's the B650i and the open box Ryzen 5 7600X, $115. That's not too bad. Followed by some G Skill DDR5 RAM. This is 32 gigs and then you put the processor in the socket and lower the lever down and this will lock the processor in on this AM5 motherboard and then now I'm going to get the copper cooler ready to go to place on this to make sure it's properly cooled so you got to make sure the right standoffs are on you can use the existing back plate apply just a little bit of thermal paste and then you got that nice copper cooler i prefer a copper cooler over a regular cooler that'll help dissipate the heat much better get the ram in place get the nvme one terabyte drive installed and screw that down and look at this motherboard it's small and pretty actually it looks really good the case comes with a little cage for the power supply you've got to make sure that is installed and i recommend getting the power cable for the CPU plugged in before you put the motherboard in there and once the motherboard is in place you can screw it down onto the motherboard standoffs on the fractal ridge then you're able to tuck and clean up any wires that may be out of place getting the cables nice and tidy in a small form factor build is a little more challenging. Then you have to remove this fan shroud on the top to make access for the GPU and you install this middle piece. It's a structural component but it's actually a riser cable that comes in two pieces. One to the motherboard and one to your graphics card that extends to the base of the riser cable which is kind of interesting. It makes it become a very nice fit and then you can plug in the 12 volt high power connector now you can slot in the RTX 5080 Founders Edition right in. Fits perfectly. Get that 12 volt high power connector plugged in. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. Get that plastic fan shroud back on and screwed in. And now everything is nice and tidy. Fits like a glove. Everything is nice and tight inside. It doesn't feel like there's any wiggle room for anything else. The back looks pretty good too, honestly. And I do like these dual fans that help keep the air pressure really high against that graphics card and now you can just button everything up get those side panels back on on both sides the one thing about this build is it's not a glass panel build but it's going to be like a nice console all right i got this system running now i got the 5080 installed Everything is running great and it's installing Windows 11 right now. It's installing Windows 11 so you have to load it on a USB thumb drive, create the ISO that way. And yeah, dude, look how small this is compared to my normal PC, which is ginormously huge. This has a 5090 in it. And look how much smaller this is. It's so much smaller, just more svelte. All right, now I'm running a Steel Nomad test to see how much juice we can pull out of a 5080. I have overclocked the 5080 a little bit, so the power limit's up. It, the clock should go up as well. And it's pegging 99%, only 62 degrees. And this little beast, is freaking phenomenal. It's rocking a Ryzen 5 7600X and a 5080. Man, I can't be more happy with this tiny build. You can see how big a controller is next to it. But yeah, this thing is running really smoothly. I have to say, not a bad score at all. That is about what a 5090 does in Steel Nomad, so 
this thing is solid and it is working very well. Well, this was a really fun build and I was able to build a small form factor PC that costs less than a 5090 at retail. The fact that I was able to do that with all of these parts, I definitely got some parts on sale, but the fact that it has a 5080 in it, that's plenty of juice and I've found that the 5080 is capable of playing all these 4K AAA titles with high frame rates, especially if you're playing on an LG OLED display that has like 120 hertz refresh rate this is going to be a perfect setup for you well thanks for checking out this quick video showing me build this small form factor pc please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give me a thumbs up if you like today's content and ring that bell to get notified when i drop new content and i'll see all of you guys on my next one